here's an Apple iPod 5th generation classic 30 gigabyte model and I will show you how to disassemble it so you can access the internal parts replace the audio jack the LCD screen the battery or the main board it's actually quite simple you just need the appropriate tool such as this flat metal which is called the i-sesame but it doesn't have to be you could also use a very thin screwdriver like this one so what you need to do is to insert this flat tool underneath the metal part and gently pry open and pop up the plastic clips holding it in place from one side and try the other side and now it comes off easily and if you notice there are some tiny screws holding the face cover to the metal frame of the iPod and here let me give you a closer look you can see that's a screw so you will have to remove them in order to remove the faceplate okay now after you removed all the screws on each side you can lift open and you will see that on the back cover inside the back cover there is the battery which is 3.7 volt 580 milliamp lithium battery and next to it is the head jack the headphone jack right here and it's held in by two screws so if you need to replace the headphone jack you can just unscrew it and replace it and the same thing with the battery they're attached with uh, flex ribbon cables to the main board and this is the 30 gigabyte hard drive and this is the cover so you can easily detach and clip the faceplate and here's another screw that I forgot to remove So now the faceplate is off and you have, you have access to the LCD and the main board. And here is the control and you have access to the main board. So basically to remove the main board you need to first remove the hard drive which is held in place by a screw underneath the hard drive on the main board take a closer look let's see from here first you want to remove this cable holding this flex ribbon cable in place I mean this clip that's holding the flex ribbon cable in place unclip it and here's another one down this way which you need to pop up and unclip the cable so finally you have this flex ribbon cable held in place by this clip again flip the secure connector and pull it gently and now you have the hard drive so this is how you remove the hard drive and you have the battery and the audio jack And lastly, this connector is the connector of the LCD screen. So if you need to remove the LCD, just unplug this and you're able to remove the LCD. And to remove the main board, it's not difficult. You just have to pop open the board and detach it from the frame 
so there you go that's a quick video on how to disassemble the iPod 5th generation